Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Enjoy English School. I'm Rose. I'm Anthony. Today we are going to be reading about a beverage, a kind of drink. Our title is "The Slurp Heard Around the World." Okay, 今天我们要介绍的主题呢是 Rose 老师非常非常喜欢的主题，也跟他非常有关系。好，这个主题呢就是那个 The Slurp Heard Around the World。好，在这里的话 ，slurp 这个字的意思呢，跟大家说一下。slurp， 你可能有听到那个有人讲到说，在这个用餐礼仪里头 ，don't slurp the soup， 这个就这个声音叫做这个 slurp。好，所以这个字的话，其实是带有声音的哈，声音档会播放出来的哈。So when you say the slurp heard 被听到这种的声音 around the world， 全世界都听到这个声音。所以在这里的话。中文英文抬头连听出来就觉得哈，好像一种悬疑感。但是在中文的这个标题里面还写到夏天就是要喝斯乐冰。好，在这里的话就知道哦，原来你 we're talking about Slurpy. That's right. Our subtitle is "Don't hold back, slurp away on this classic frozen drink that came to be accidentally." Okay, so in this full title, he also mentioned that hey, don't hold back, don't hesitate, don't wait, don't wait, don't wait, don't wait. Slurp away on this classic frozen drink. Okay, classic is very, very classic. This kind of thing can be classic. Classic. So this music is classic. Okay, this song is classic. Very classic. Just a little bit of a slurp. Okay, that came to be. Accidentally came to be 的意思就是出现或是存在。好，在这里的话 ，came to be 就是突然之间出现，是什么样出现？是有人是想到这个 idea 吗？没有，它是意外被发现的一个很好的一种一种喝饮料的这种方法或做饮料的方式。好，意外诞生的这种经典动因。So one more note on this idea of slurping.、Um, different societies, different cultures have a different stance on slurping. Mm. In Western culture, it's very, very impolite to slurp and make that <laughs> sound、mm -hmm. when you're eating. But in a lot of Eastern cultures, especially Japan, that's right. It's a way to show that you're really enjoying the food. 没有错，好，刚刚我也是想到同样一件事情，就是然后老师就是好像有脑波会会连接那种感觉哈。老师又提到说，其实上不同的文化对于 slur 发出这种喳喳喳喳的这种声音呢，好看法是不一样的。在西方国家，他觉得说，哦，这个人好没礼貌，好好粗鲁，好好糟糕哦。好，如果你这样 slurp the soup， 一直发出喳喳喳的声音是不行的。可是呢。在这个东方的文化，尤其在日本，如果说你在吃拉面的时候发出嗖噜嗖噜嗖噜的那种声音的话，那那个这个做拉面的师傅会觉得说，嗯，你感觉上是很喜欢吃我拉面。That that means you enjoy the food very much. 所以这个观点上面，其实东西方文化对于 slurp 这个字、这个动词、这个做法是很不一样的。So July 11th is National Slurpy Day. A Slurpy is a frozen carbonated drink sold in Seven Eleven stores around the world, and is the perfect summer refreshment. Okay, so in our first paragraph, we just saw. Okay, first, we need to check it. It's seven eleven. Okay, seven eleven. Today we are seven eleven. Right? Okay, but this means that you want to go to buy a free Slurpy, it's already over. So sad. If you want to see it early, maybe you'll have a chance. But if you want to see it today, it's impossible. Seven eleven is National Slurpy Day. Okay, so today we are seven eleven. Okay, seven eleven. 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 A Slurpy is a frozen carbonated drink sold in Seven Eleven stores around the world, and is the perfect summer refreshment. 在这里的话有一个字比较难的哦 ，frozen 大家你都晓得嘛，对不对？因为那个冰雪奇缘的关系 ，frozen 你一定知道。Carbonated 其实就是从 carbon 这个字来的 ，carbon 就是碳 ，carbonated 指的就是这个饮料有加那个碳酸，好，碳酸的饮料。Carbonated drink. Sometimes we we hear people say soft drink. 好 ，soft drink 就是那种软性的、没有酒精的这种碳酸饮料。Sold in Seven Eleven stores. 在 Seven Eleven 都有都有卖，全世界 Seven Eleven 都有卖。而且呢 ，it's the perfect summer refreshment. Re refreshment 这个字 ，refreshment 这个字的话，特别注意一下。如果你把 n e n t 后面那四个字拿掉的话，它可以做从 refresh 这个字来做很多很多的变化，甚至到后面你还会看到 refresh 后面加 i n g 变成 refreshing 这个字。所以这个字的话，你不妨可以先帮我注记一下 refreshment。它先从 refresh 这个字帮我框起来。
好，后面的话可以换不同的字根来做变化哦。在这里加 m e n t， 就是名词的结尾，就是一个好让你喝了之后很消暑的东西。So the Slurpee was actually invented by accident in the late 1950s by Omar Nedlik of Kansas City in the United States. OK， 所以到后来我们就要知道一下这个 Slurpee 的历史了。所以在第二段里面，他提到了 The Slurpee was invented by accident. By accident， 意思就是意外的。它其实不是被就是被有心的，就是去创造出来，而是意外发现说，哦，原来这样吃好好吃。什么时候发现的呢 ？In the late 1950s， 是在一九五零年代。这个地方特别注意到，如果是 1950， 就是。一九五零年那一年，后面如果有加 s 的话，就是一九五零到一九六零的时的这个这段时间，所以我们常常翻译成一九五零年代的时候。By Omar Netlik， 好，所以发明的人是 Omar Netlik， 他是在哪哪里的人呢 ？Of Kansas City in the U.S.， 他是在堪萨斯州，好，堪萨斯城这个地方，他们的人发现的。Netlik owned a Dairy Queen。So a Dairy Queen is now a fast food restaurant, an ice cream shop. But I think back in those days, it was more simple. It would have been a place that was serving ice cream and soda. Oh, so in this case, Netflix in the time when Netflix owned a Dairy Queen, 老师这边就特别解释一下 ，a Dairy Queen 是什么呢？就是他们当初在美国的这个算是连锁的这种卖双麒麟的啦，哈，是卖汽水的啦，这样子的一个餐厅。好，他们有拥有一个这样的餐厅 ，and 好，后面的他就告诉我们，就是后面会发生什么事情了。So when his soda fountain broke down, he put bottles of soda in the freezer to keep them cool. A soda fountain was a machine、uh, very popular in the 1950s for serving soda, and we still have versions of this nowadays. But his machinery broke, so he wasn't able to serve soda in the normal way. And he had to use bottles, so he put the bottles of soda in the freezer to keep them cool. Okay, so 接下来他我们就看到他怎么样发现这个斯勒宾这种吃法的。他就说 ，And when his soda fountain, soda fountain， 老师刚刚有解释过，就是汽水机哦。那以前在一九五零年代、六零年代那个时候已经有汽水机了。其实事实上，在台湾的某些餐厅里头，你还有机会看到一个，然后可能有五个芬达啦、雪碧啦，然后那个百事可乐啦等等，然后你就可以用那个杯子去压它。好，有的时候你会在很多像 Subway 的话，都会看到这种汽水机，那个英文叫做 soda fountain。他说 ，And when his soda fountain broke down， 他汽水机突然故障了之后呢 ，He put bottles of soda in the freezer。结果呢，他想说，不行啊，这个汽水如果说故障的话，你把它放在那边，它久了之后它就不好不好喝啦、啊。所以他就把它放在哪里？放到 freezer， 放到冷冻柜里头去，确保它的这个 to keep them cool， 保持它的这个冰跟它的新鲜的程度。啊，就因为这样子，就发现了后面的事情。Of course, some of the bottles ended up partially frozen. This is what happens when you put things in the freezer; they、That's、end、right. up partially frozen or completely frozen. And the semi-frozen soda proved to be very popular with his customers. OK， 所以没想到后面发生的事情就这样。Of course， 当然啦，有些你放在冰柜里面嘛，对不对？然后 ，some of the bottles ended up partially frozen. 如果你说 ended up 怎么样怎么样的话，后面可以接一个状态。好，有一些他们的这些呃罐装的饮料呢，居然就变成有点半结冰了 ，partially frozen and the semi frozen soda 这些有稍微结冰的这这些汽水呢 ，proved to be very popular。好，居然到后来居然非常受到他的顾客的喜欢。So people were actually asking him to give them one of the bottles that had been in the freezer a bit longer. Ah, so even some people would ask, "Hey, can you give me a little bit of ice cream? It's a little bit frozen. I think it would be better to taste it. They also ask. 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 嗯，所以到后来他觉得说，哦，居然客户好喜欢，这些顾客们都很喜欢这种口感的那种呃汽水嘛。所以呢 ，Netflix develop a special machine。他最后想说啊，那我干脆来特别制作一个这个机器 
and recipe。recipe 的话只是配方哦，不管是这个食食谱里面，他们告诉你说做这道菜的话的 recipe， 它的制作过程那也叫 recipe。他就打算呢去制作一个新的机器，然后呢把它设计一下新的配方 for the drink。然后呢 marketing it as the I C。好，这个 I C 的拼法是 I C C。然后是 I C E E， 好 I C E 就是 ice， 再加上一个 E， 然后全部都大写，就变变成 I C， 好就用这个 I C 这个名字来行销这种新的产品。So the Seven Eleven calls this kind of product a Slurpee. Or originally with Omar Nedlik's product, it was called an I C. And I actually I know one other name for this kind of drink. In my town, we used to call it a slushy. Slush is a word. Um, for a kind of snow, where I'm from in Canada, we have a lot of snow,、mm. so we have some different words for different kinds of snow. And slush is a kind of snow that is kind of halfway melted. It's very wet. It's still snow, but it's a little bit wet. It's exactly the same as a, a slushy or a slurpy. It's the same kind of texture. OK， 因为老师呢是来自于这个加拿大的 Manitoba， 好，这个这个地方，那个地方很容易下雪。虽然我自己去过加拿大 Vancouver， 然后去过很多那个 Alberta 很多地方，甚至东东部也去过 Quebec City， 然后都去过，但是 Manitoba 没有去过。但是我知道那边雪非常非常多。然后老师也提到说呢，其实。不同的这个，因为下常常下雪嘛，所以雪的状态其实对于加拿大人来讲，他们有不同的名称。那 slush 这个字 ，s l u s h slush， 通常是指那种有一点点是雪，但是呢，就是那种半融掉的那种雪，松松软软的那种叫做 slush。所以说今天在加拿大里面，如果提到斯勒冰的话，大家就会想到啊，我们都会叫它 slushy， 因为就很像那个半融掉那个 slush 后面加 e e。所以说，今天你提到斯勒冰的时候，你在美国一定讲 Slurpee， 可是，在加拿大去的话，如果你听到 Slushy， what is that？ 其实是一样的东西，也是斯勒冰哦。All right, we'll take a little break, and we'll be back in a minute with more about ices, Slurpees, and Slushies. Welcome back, everybody. So, in the first half of our program today, we heard about how the Slurpee, this very famous half-frozen drink from Seven Eleven, was actually invented by accident. Okay, so in our first half of our program today, we heard about how the Slurpee, this very famous half-frozen drink from Seven Eleven, was actually invented by accident. Okay, so in our first half of our program today, we heard about how the Slurpee, this very famous 意外的发现了，他说：“哦，这个东西很好喝啊，然后怎么样去制作啊？甚至我们刚刚还提到，老师因为本身是来自于加拿大，那在加拿大里头的话，他们称呼斯勒冰的话，不是不是说 slurpy， 他是用 slushy。那主要原因是因为 slush 在这个加拿大里头指的是指那种快要融化的那种雪。”然后呢，刚好那个饮料的那个融化的那种程度也跟那个雪很像，然后加上一一的时候 ，slush 加一一就变 slushy， 来表达斯勒冰这样的概念。So this product began as the icy, and Omar Nedlik in Kansas City was the only person making it in the beginning. He invented it, and it was his own product. Okay, so 刚开始的时候呢，我们在第二段的时候有提到说，这个发明者叫做 Omar Nedlik。好 ，Omar Nedlik 他发现了之后呢，他想想了一些方法，然后制作出了一个特别的机器来制作斯勒冰，而且呢，还有想了一些新的配方。然后他给他一个新的名字，叫做 I C I C E E， 全部都大写的名称来行销他的产品。In 1965, Seven Eleven picked up the product. They bought it from Omar Nedlik. They bought the machine. They bought the recipe. They took over this drink and they renamed it the Slurpee. OK， 所以到了一九六五年的时候呢，哎 ，Seven Eleven 注意到说，哎呦，这个产品不错哦 ，picked up。The product. So here, here, picked up the product. 代表是不是说把它什么捡起来？其实就是把它买下来。说 OK， 我要买你这个专利，我可能要买你这个机器，甚至之后的话，其实由我来出产这个斯勒冰。And renamed it. Renamed it. 就是重新命名，把它命名就不要叫 I C 了，取一个更酷的名字叫 Slurpy。好，它是从 Slurp 再加上 E E 来拼起来，就变成是 Slurpy， 可以一直这样吸的这种感觉。好，感觉上是比较。比较酷的一个名称
The name Slurpee was inspired by the slurping sound that the drink makes when it's sucked through a straw. We drink Slurpees with straws. So sometimes when you get to the bottom, especially if you're at the end of the drink, then you're trying to get the last little bits of ice out of the cup. Then it will make a slurping sound. 嗯，没错啊、哦，我们通常会用吸管来喝这个斯乐冰嘛。尤其老师刚刚提到说，喝到最末段的时候，你想办法要把最后一滴把它吸得干干净净，就会发出这样的声音。好，那那个声音的话就是 slurp， 对不对？那今天如果说再加上一一的话，刚好可以符合说你喝这个斯乐冰的时候会发出的声音。所以他这句话就讲说 ，The name was inspired by the slurping sound， 就是那种发出咻咻咻的那种声音吸的时候。That the drink makes when it is sucked through a straw, 尤其是你透过这个吸管把它吸起来的时候，会发出的那个声音。好，就是这个声音的关系。所以呢，它的这个名字的灵感来源就是 slurp 这个动词，所以我把它叫做 slurpy. Slurpy straws are also special, and it's partly because of the straw that this slurping sound happens, because the top end of the straw is totally normal. But the bottom end has a little scoop, like a small spoon on the end, that can be used for picking up the last bits of ice in the cup. Ah, 原来如此哈。这个地方，如果各位有喝斯乐冰，一定都知道嘛。它的这个吸管的设计是很特别的。吸管的上半部，也就是对着嘴的部分的话，是跟一般的吸管没有两样。可是呢，吸管的下半部呢，就很像是一个一个小汤匙一样那种感觉。这样的话就变成，如果你吸不起来也没有关系，你可以用汤匙舀的方式把剩下那个冰把它舀起来。好，它是这个特殊的设计。所以他这句话讲说 ，Slurpy straws are also special， 很特别的。The top end， 好，上端的部分 is normal， 很普通。But the bottom end， 在下端的这个吸管的部分呢 ，has a little scoop， 有一个小小的这个像汤匙 ，that can be used for picking up the last bits of ice in the cup。可以把剩下最后一点点的这个斯乐冰给捞起来吃。So I am really happy that I get to tell this story today because、um, I get to exercise a little bit of local pride.、Uh, we talked before about my province in Manitoba, in Canada,、um, and how we call this kind of drink a slushy.、Mm-hmm. Um, what I didn't mention is that. My province is also the slurpy capital of the world. Oh, wow! So, so, 老师刚刚提到说，非常非常开心的能够他能够讲今天的故事，原因是因为他是带着充满家乡的骄傲。为什么呢？因为呢，老师的家乡 Manitoba 刚好也是斯勒宾之城。好，就是变成是斯勒宾，在这个 Manitoba 的话，算是。国饮吧，算是整个整个省份的大家都会都会喝的，甚至以此为傲的这样子一个故事，很特别。So people in Manitoba drink more Slurpees than any other place in the world. They are super super popular, and this is very weird because our winters are very cold. We have cold weather for most of the year. Um, and it's very strange that people should enjoy this cold drink when the weather is also cold. 没有错，我就想到觉得好特别哦。然后老师说，这个为什么我们叫斯勒宾之城呢？原因就是因为我们这个省份里面喝的斯勒宾的总量比任何全世界各个地方都还要多。好，我们大家超爱喝斯勒宾，非常非常爱喝斯勒宾。然后老师又提到说，不过现在想来也很奇怪，因为 Manitoba 本身是一个很冷的地方。照理来讲，你整天都在冰天雪地之下，理论上你看到冰呢。或者是那种那种冷饮啊，都会觉得哦，好冷好冷，不会想再喝了。可是大家却是非常非常喜欢斯勒宾这样子一个饮品。But something something works because we have been the Slurpee capital of the world for 19 years. 哇，所以说今天呢，它是全世界哦吃喝斯勒宾最多的这个省份。然后呢，这样子这个 title 好、哦，这种这样子的头衔呢，已经连续十九年都拿到了。的的的，这个是。很很棒的殊荣吧，对，十九年了，搞不好今年今天也是你们拿到的话，就是满二十年都是全部都你们全包了。And anyone from my region is aware of this and very proud of it, because otherwise Manitoba is honestly kind of a boring and unimportant place. Okay, so he said, 老师就提到说。
，其实很多的在明尼托巴人都会以此为傲，所以搞不好今年会更努力的喝这个斯乐冰，然后想办法要拿到今年的宝座。因为如除了这个东西之外，其实明尼托巴感觉上，老师说了，是一个非常非常无聊的地方哈。因为老师是来自于 Rose， 老师来自于明尼托巴，所以他说起来最准。Every year, there is an announcement、uh, in the newspaper that we are once again the Slurpee capital of the world, and there's a party as well in our capital city to celebrate that. 嗯，没错。所以说每，每每一年呢，它报上都会写到，在 Manitoba 当地的报纸都会告诉你说，啊，我们今年又荣获了斯乐冰全世界首都的这种名声。好，我们又喝了最多的斯乐冰，然后大家都会大肆的这种庆祝，然后大家也非常非常开心，又得到这样子的这种殊荣。So in 2018, this was our 19th year as Slurpee champions of the world, and they had this very very big Slurpee cup on display. Um, it was big enough to hold 711 liters of Slurpee because 711. Ah, so 711 liters of Slurpee. Wow, that makes sense. Okay, 我那时候还想说好奇妙。这老师大家私底下跟我讲这个故事，我觉得还蛮有意思的。他就跟我说啊，在二零一八年的时候，就是刚刚讲的哦，二零一八年的时候，为了要这个庆祝他们又得到这样子的这种这种殊荣嘛，对不对 ？They had a huge Slurpee cup. On display, they 居然制作一个超级大、比人还高的一个超大的这个斯乐冰杯。然后呢，到底这个斯乐冰杯有多大呢？它里面能够装七百一十一公升的这样子的这种斯乐冰。然后我想说，为什么是七百一十一公升呢？老师刚刚在这个解释的时候就说说出了这个解答。他说，因为是 Seven Eleven 嘛，所以是七一一，对不对？就刚刚好就是。也算是有有庆祝到，有纪念到这个 Seven Eleven 这样的感觉。And our city really took it to the next level last year. They even renamed one of the streets Slurpee Way. 哇，所以说除了这个之外，二零一八年去年呢，还做了一件重要的大事呢，那就是他们这个城市里头，甚至呢，还把这个<笑>把他们自己的街道称之为斯乐冰街。哇，真的是真的好好疯狂哦！ So on July 11th, which is 7-11, don't forget to visit your local 7-11 and enjoy a refreshing Slurpee. 没错，所以说呢，今天呢，你可以看到最这文章最后一段最后一句话，他说 ，On July the 11th， 好，就是在七月十一号这一天，好 ，Don't forget to visit your local 7-11. 别忘了，你有机会的话，可以去一下这个当地的 7-11 and enjoy a refreshing Slurpee. 别忘了，我们刚刚是不是有提到 refreshment， 对不对？在这里终于又看到了这个字 refreshing。When you say refreshing， 就是那种清凉退火、很消暑的感觉。虽然 Manitoba 已经蛮冷的，但是呢，到了夏天之后的话，大家也会希望来一点清那种消暑而清凉的饮品。所以如果可以的话，你在七月十一号的时候，如果提早看我们预习我们的杂志的话，说不定还没七月十一号还没到，那你就可以赶快去去那个。如果已经过了，没关系，你还有明年。好，明年的话，别忘了去。So the Slurpee is available in Taiwan. You can buy it here, but I think it has a lot more competition in Taiwan than it does in Manitoba. 嗯，没错。那那个在台湾的话，你有听过这个斯乐冰吗？你也搞不好也喝过台湾的斯乐冰。可是呢，必须要说的是，在台湾斯乐冰呢有其他诸多的商品要去跟它竞争，它的竞争对手很多啊。那跟相对于这个 Manitoba 里面的话， Manitoba 本身的话，可能就没有这么多同类型的商品去跟它竞争了。So in Taiwan, it's easy to go and get a shaved ice or a fruit juice or something like that. But in Manitoba, we we have nothing.、Um, so all of the business goes directly to Seven Eleven. 哦，原来是这样。你看，在台湾的话，你又可以吃到刨冰啦，或其他各式各样。We have bubble tea, don't forget. 对啊，所以各式各样的这种东西。可是，在那个 Manitoba 那边的话，其实基本上没有这些这么多种类的饮品。所以，很多的这种生意，人们想喝一些特殊的饮品的话，自然而然就跑到 Seven Eleven 去喝斯乐冰。这也是一个造成呃 Manitoba 是非常就是全世界这种斯乐冰首都，也是也一个很重要很重要的因素吧。All right, that's all our time for today. Thanks for listening, everybody. I hope you enjoyed hearing about Slurpees, and I hope you won't forget to enjoy one on July 11th. 嗯，这很重要。七月十一号的时候呢，记得有机会的话去尝一尝一份免费的斯乐冰，到 Seven 就可以找得到喽。All right, thanks for listening. Bye bye. Bye bye. 